It's me, Free Reads! <laughs> Hi, friends! It's me, Free. Today, let's explore a story together. Let's read, play, and draw dinosaurs! Today's story features Stella, a smart dino with a big problem. Will she be able to save her friends? Let's read. Stella and the Dinos, Alive in Space. Written by Peyton Gully. Illustrated by Desi Moore. Stella and the Dinos, Alive in Space. If no one ever told you, then I'd like to tell you now that dinosaurs are still alive. And let me tell you how. See, dinos have a planet, their own sun, and their own place. I'm telling you that dinos are alive in outer space. You know that long ago on Earth, the dinosaurs were king the biggest of the animals, and eating everything. Each dinosaur was different, some on land and some with wings, with different dino interests doing different dino things. Some dinosaurs were athletes, some dinosaurs read books, some dinosaurs were quite a sight with dinosaur good looks. Some dinosaurs took bubble baths. Some cleaned their dino homes. Some dinosaurs were always on their giant dino phones. There were dancing dinosaurs and dinos who could sing. There were lazy dinosaurs who never did a thing. Some dinosaurs were super fast and some were very slow. But there is just one dinosaur whose name you need to know. Stella the dino scientist was only just a kid. But dinos are alive today because of what she did. See, Stella was a thinker and she liked to use her mind, exploring almost everything to see what she could find. And every night at bedtime, Stella looked into the stars to see if she could catch a glimpse of Jupiter or Mars. But one night, through her telescope, she saw something new. And even genius Stella wasn't sure what she should do. Oh no! She saw a giant rock in space. And much to her dismay, the rock was headed straight for Earth and speeding on its way. This was a disaster! Stella knew this wasn't good. She had to spread the news around, tell everyone she could. She warned the dino moms that their babies were in danger, but they wouldn't listen to some tiny dino stranger. She tried to tell the dino dads the world was going to end, but dino dads had work to do. No time, my little friend. Sorry, kid. Stella told the athletes, and she got more of the same. Little girl, the world is fine. You're holding up our game. Scram! The dino seemed uninterested with danger on its way, but Stella couldn't give up. No, she had to save the day. 
The dinosaurs needed Stella because they didn't know. An asteroid would soon arrive and they needed to go. But where to go? What to do? Then letting out a sigh, Stella lifted up her head and looked into the sky. There, she shouted, filled with joy, a big smile on her face. I'll take all the dinosaurs to live in outer space. So Stella built a rocket ship and finished just in time. The asteroid got closer and the dinos changed their mind. Dino games were ended. Dino bubble baths were drained. Nothing good was coming for a dino who remained. So dinosaurs, both old and young, and dinos big and small, came to Stella's rocket ship, and she welcomed them all. We believe you now. She's, She's smart. smart. Sorry. The dinos all apologized, admitting they were wrong. And Stella said, we're good, my friends. Get in and come along. Three, the countdown had begun. Two, now down below. One, the rocket fired up and it was time to go. The rocket shot off through the sky and when it passed the moon, the asteroid slammed into Earth and made a giant boom. The dinosaurs let out a cheer, so happy to survive. Hooray to little Stella! She's the reason we're alive! Then Stella thought, who can say now what the future brings? After Mars and Jupiter and Saturn with its rings, Uranus, then Neptune, after Pluto, who can know where dinosaurs in space lost in a rocket ship might go? But wow, dino astronauts exploring the unknown, traveling the universe until they find a home. Where'd they go? Will they come back? Are they around out there? Could it be today that they are still alive somewhere? Well, before you go to bed, look out into the stars. Maybe you can catch a glimpse of Jupiter or Mars. Or maybe you'll see something that is wonderful and new. Maybe there's a dinosaur who's looking back at you. Honey, look! It's a kid! The end. Thank you for reading with me today. Stella used her smarts to get all the dinos up, up, up and away from Earth. Do you think there are dinos out there in space right now? <laughs> now friends, let's meet the author of this story. Everyone, let's say hi to Peyton. Hi Peyton. Hi Bree. And hello friends. My name's Peyton and I'm the author of Stella and the Dinos Alive in Space. It makes me so happy to hear Bree read about Stella because that little dino always reminds me to be brave, to be curious, and to be kind. But more than anything, Stella and her silly dino friends remind me to use my imagination. From dinosaurs on rollerblades to dinos flying rocket ships, anything is possible if you use your imagination. So I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you use your imagination to come up with incredible stories of your own. Bye. Thank you, Peyton. We love your story. We love your imagination. And we love dinosaurs. Friends, do you love dinosaurs? <laughs> you do? Well, today, let's meet some. Let's go exploring and learn about dinosaurs. Let's explore the Cabazon Dinosaur Museum together. 
near Palm Springs, California. Let's walk and discover different kinds of dinosaurs. because it's a carnivore. What does a carnivore mean? This dino eats meat. Woo! Look, this dino's the color of Stella from our story. What color is it? Pink. And what about this one? Pink and blue. They look like friends. <laughs> oh, look! A Triceratops family! Did you know the name Triceratops means three horned face? Let's count the horns! One. Two, three. Yeah, try means three. Triceratops. Velociraptors! They're the fighting dinosaur, and they probably hunted in packs together. The Brachiosaurus has a long neck and it's known to be the largest dinosaur. They are herbivores. What does that mean? Well, it's the opposite of a carnivore. They don't eat meat, they eat plants. Ah, the Stegosaurus. These dinos are known for the plates on their back probably used for defense. Do you know what this ferocious dinosaur is? That's a T-Rex, Tyrannosaurus Rex.
dinosaurs are now extinct, but some of our oldest living reptiles are alligators, Komodo dragons, and tortoises. The Cabazon dinosaurs are life-size. Peekaboo, I see you. You can even climb up into the T-Rex and look out the mouth. <gasps> Let's climb inside. <laughs> Do you hear that? Listen! Dinosaur roar! Let's sing! All sorts of dinosaurs Eating up their lunch Boom. Gobble, gobble, nibble, nibble, munch, munch, scrunch Dinosaur roar! Dinosaur squeak! Dinosaur fierce! Dinosaur meek! Dinosaur fast! Dinosaur slow! Dinosaur above and dinosaur below! All sorts of dinosaurs eating up their lunch! Boom. Gobble, gobble, nibble, nibble, munch, munch, scrunch. Dinosaur weak. Dinosaur strong. Dinosaur short. Or very, very long. Dinosaur fat. Dinosaur tiny. Dinosaur clean. And dinosaur slimy. Dinosaur sweet. Dinosaur grumpy. Dinosaur spiky and dinosaur lumpy. All sorts of dinosaurs eating up their lunch. Boom. Gobble, gobble, nibble, nibble, munch, munch, scrunch. Gobble, gobble, nibble, nibble, munch, munch, scrunch. Dinosaurs aren't mammals like you and I. They're born in an egg. Let's go on a dino dig! Yeah! Friends, I followed the dino tracks and they led here! This must be where some of Stella's friends ended up! <laughs> Let's dig! A paleontologist studies fossils and the prehistoric life here on Earth. And an archaeologist is the one to excavate them, take them out of the ground for studying. Today, let's do both. First, let's dig. Let's dig for dino eggs, like this. Oh, over here, friends. This looks like a great site for digging. Do you see anything that looks like a dinosaur egg? Oh, I see one right away, look! Let's excavate. I'm going to use a brush. Here, and now, Let's break it open to see what's inside. <gasps> it cracked! Look! Thank you. 
and left behind? This is a fossil, or a print of a prehistoric creature left in rock. This is a Spinosaurus, just like the dino from our story, Stella. It got its name from the great big spine on its back. Let's keep cracking and see what else we can find. This is the Tyrannosaurus Rex, one of the biggest and the fiercest dinos. T-Rexes had 60 teeth. Each tooth was eight inches long. This is a pterodactyl. Its name means flying lizard. Some pterodactyls were as small as a toy plane, but some were as big as fighter jets. Look, a pterodactyl fossil. This is a Parasaurolophus. It's one of the big dinos and can reach up to 33 feet long. Its long nose was used like a trumpet to communicate with other dinosaurs. This is the Diplodocus. It has a long neck and tail. In fact, it can be up to 100 feet long. This dinosaur had nostrils at the top of its head so that it could be submerged underwater and still breathe.
is an Ankylosaurus. They have short, wide bodies covered with plates like a suit of armor. Short legs and a head low to the ground made it good for grazing. This dinosaur is a plant eater. This isn't a dino egg. I think this is a geode. Let's try to crack it open and see what's inside. All these dinos, all this digging, that's got me in the mood to d d draw. Yes, let's draw a dinosaur together. Like this. For this project, you'll need paper, a pencil to draw with, a black marker or pen to outline, and colors. I'm using my favorite beeswax crayons. I'll put a link in the description if you'd like your own. And if you'd like a printable coloring page version, that link is in the description too. Now friends, we're starting with our pencil. Put your hand in the center of the paper. Do you see where my pinky is? Right here on this side, we'll start with a U shape. Letter U. Except this U is turned. Do you see? There's our curved line. It looks a bit like a letter C, too. Now at the top of the U, we'll extend down and stop. At the bottom of that line, we'll go down again. Down, curve, and stop. These two points should be lined up. Now we're going to draw the dinosaur's back. Let's make a curve and leave some space for the spikes on top. About this high. Let's curve like a hill. It looks like a rainbow shape. And stop. Now down here, we're going to make the first front leg. Go down, over, and up. It's a rectangle shape, except it's open on the top. Now for the belly, curve, just slightly. Here's the back leg, the same shape, down, over, and up and leave this part open. That's where the tail will go. It's going to wrap around the leg like this. From here, scoop down, around, right at the bottom of the page. Now close that shape like this. Next, we're going to draw the back legs with a slanted line and over. Touch to meet the front. Here, another slanted line over and touch. Now, let's draw the spikes. We'll make triangle shapes. Up and down. Up and down, up, down, up, down, up and down. I made five spikes. You can make as many as you'd like. Now on the belly, draw from here a curved line to the other side. Now let's draw some straight lines on the belly Going down. Zip, 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 and zip. Next, 
we're going to add some spots. I'm drawing an oval shape. One big oval, two bigger ovals, now some smaller ones. One, two, three. Next, let's make some toes for the feet. Our dinosaur doesn't really have claws, but we'll make some boing boing shapes for the feet. Three in the front, two in the back. Again, boing, boing, boing. Three in front and boing, boing, two in the back. Last but not least, our dino needs a face. Let's curve up for a smile. And then a dot for the eye. Ta-da! Now you're ready to outline. I'm using a big black marker. Use whatever you have handy, or you might choose to skip this step. Using a black outline marker really makes our drawing pop off the page. It makes it look just like a coloring book. Now I'm going back and erasing some of my pencil lines that showed through. You don't have to do this. It's optional. When you color, It'll most likely cover it anyways. And now we're ready for color. Let's start with the big body of the dinosaur. Choose whatever color you like. I'm using grass green. And since I use my crayons a whole lot, I need to peel some paper back to use it. Start wherever feels comfortable. I make small lines over and over until the whole thing is filled up. What color will your dino be? Green like mine? Purple? Red? Yellow? Orange? Blue? Gray? Rainbow? Or maybe some other pattern? Use your creativity to create your very own dinosaur! Now, let's color the spikes. I'm choosing purple. My purple crayon had to be repaired with a piece of tape. It broke before. Use whatever you have. Maybe you want to make your spikes different colors or patterns. For me, I'm using solid purple. I start by Outlining the triangle spike shape, I go around the edge and then I fill it in. Use whatever technique feels right for you. And now for the spots. I'm using orange. What color or colors will you use? When I color a circle or oval shape, I 
move my hand in a circle or oval? And now, let's color the belly underneath the dinosaur. I'm using a lighter orange color. This one's called yellow orange. And instead of pressing harder, I'm pressing softer. It creates a lighter color. Lastly, I'm going to color the toes. This time, I'm using yellow. Great job, my friends! All finished and looking good! Thank you for drawing with me today! And exploring, and singing, and reading! Friends, I want to see your dinosaur! You can find and tag me on Instagram to show me. And please subscribe to my channel for more books and more fun. See you next time. Bye bye.